The death toll in Syria rises from the devastating earthquake and the Oscars. Coming up right here on The Brave Club. What's up, Warriors? Welcome to the Brave Club. I'm Salma. And I'm Jillian. We're here with our co-hosts, Knox, Amani, and Colt. Today's Friday, February 24th, 2023. Uh, we didn't have news yesterday. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Yeah. I think I, I noticed. I was like, man. Yeah, you didn't see the yeah, news. Yeah, I didn't. I was like, whoa. Where's the news? Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe you want to. <laughs> you were in the class. <laughs> <You were in laughs> <the class. laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, people kept asking me. They're like, why is uh, there no news? Why exactly. Why? And there's no news on Wednesdays, but we do have the Wednesday episode. Well, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes yeah. we'll have the Warrior Wednesday episode, but we're right. back for now. Yes. After two days of no episode. Two days, no episode. We've yeah. returned. I think this is our 20th episode, if I'm not 20? mistaken. Mm -hmm. I, think I think so. Yeah. Yep. Gee, I remember 20. it was like our seventh. Yeah. I remember our first, too. Yeah. You remember our first episode? <laughs> yes. It I have the memory of a goldfish. I can't remember that. <laughs> because I was filming. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was pretty foggy out today. Yeah. So oh, my God. Like, it was so foggy. So, yeah. Hey, so, what, so yeah. What's the weather? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm confused. For <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, for today, it's going to um, be partly cloudy. The lowest is 64 and the highest is 87. And for tomorrow, it's going to be partly cloudy again. And the lowest is 64 and the highest is 87. Uh, I don't know about partly cloudy. It seems to be pretty cloudy. Yeah. There might be, yeah. there might I, be I one went on out. top of us right now. <laughs> <laughs> I went true. outside, dude, and I was just like. I literally was, yeah, I, I was like, I, I can't, can't see. see. Yeah, I was like, exactly. Yeah. But I like foggy yeah. days. Like, I couldn't see. I like, like, like fog, but like, fog is nice. Don't. Yeah. It kind Sometimes. Of, it, it just feels really cool outside when it's foggy. Nice it, yeah, cool. it's like it's very humid, right? Because yeah. it's the cloud. Yeah, because of the moisture. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Right. On the celebrity, celebrity news. news. So for today's celebrity news, if my phone will open. Um, the 2023 Oscars, it seems that it's going to go smoothly. So after last year's incident where Will Smith slapped Chris Rock over something he said about Jada, um, his wife, he like slapped her, so slapped him, him. <laughs> slapped him. So the Academy of Motion oh, Picture no. Arts CEO Bill Craner said in an interview that they're introducing a crisis team for all the Oscars for the foreseeable future. He said, we have a whole crisis team, something we've never had before. And he also said that in preparation for this year's Oscars, the newly formed team has been running any and every scenario that they can think of. Because of the slap last year, we've opened our minds to many things that can happen at the Oscars. And Will has talked many times about what he did last year, and he still regrets it to this day. Huh? So they yeah. so they ran through every scenario possible. Like they're the yeah, the crisis <laughs> like, team. They're, they're, they're I like, like I feel like Will Smith should come vision. up with another one. With another future vision. Like, he, he's like, I'll do it again. I want to see what he cooks up this year. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, yeah. last year's Oscar was good. That that ran that like joke uh, about Chris Rock slapping uh, Will Smith. Oh my or, gosh. <laughs> I saw I saw the Oscars. I yeah. think I saw it when it happened. There's, Wait, yeah, there were so many memes. Well, going why are we already around? talking about the 2023 Oscars? She didn't think it was real. Oh, yeah, the Oscars isn't until... March. Oh, oh, March. okay. March. Yeah. And March, the beginning First. of There's March. still movies coming out. There's still, like... But that this is for last year's movies. Oh! We did, the movies that came out in 2022. Oh. That they haven't been able to get I'm, I might yet. be a little... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus. But some people I remember last year, it was, like, really controversial about, like, if it was, like, Will Smith was right to slap him, or, like, obviously you should not slap anybody, but, like, if it was, like... Like... Like, reasonable. Yeah, I remember yeah, coming into violence. school the day it happened. It was like... Oh, my God, everybody was, was talking about Don't it. use yeah. violence. Violence is very bad. Very bad. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, what's very... Okay. Sports. Nope, lifestyle. 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 Sorry, yes. my bad. I almost skipped it. You, like, looked okay. at lifestyle. <laughs> um, so, for lifestyle today, we have an update on Syria and Turkey with their earthquakes. So, it was only two and a half weeks ago that the earthquake happened which, to remind you guys, it was a 7.8 magnitude. <sighs> oh, no. So it now has killed more than 43,500 people. It's destroyed 164,000 buildings. Um, the bank's Monterey Police Committee said that it cut the benchmark policy rate by 0.5 of a percentage point. The Central Bank of the Republic of Turkey slashed 
the benchmark rate by 5 percent points between August and November, but had left rates unchanged since then. The cuts have come despite the country's high inflation, which currently stands at 57.68 percent and has caused a cost of living crisis. Central banks around the world have raised rates to fight inflation in their countries. The central bank said that the quake could not impact Turkey's economy in the medium term. Um, the impact of the earthquake on production, consumption, employment, and expectations is being evaluated, the bank said in the statement. While the earthquake is expected to affect economic activity in the near term, it is anticipated that it will not have a permanent impact on performance of the Turkish economy in the medium term. Hmm. So, like, they're having a little bit of an economy problem? I mean, I, I mean, yeah, the earthquakes are expensive, especially yeah. how bad they are. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's definitely sure. going to cost oh my God, a lot it's going to cost money. a lot, a lot, probably millions. Billions. Yeah, yeah. probably even more than that. It's Man. really sad, though. Oh, dude. It's really sad. Yeah. What was the magnitude? Like, uh, it eight, was, nine? It was, it was a 7.8 uh, magnitude. Yeah. And then a 6.8 aftershock, I think. Damn. Yeah. Uh, it must be really hard for them. Yeah. Yeah, pray for Man. Turkey and Syria. I was yeah. just about to say We're that. We're going to pray That's... for them. And there's a bunch of charities as well that have opened. Yeah, that have uh, That's to, okay. help yeah, to help for them, the so. um, yeah. damages. Help yeah. pay yep. for the damages. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And like all the other stuff. So. I, hope, I hope everybody's like okay. Like, yeah. But like the people who are living there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, a lot of them probably have, yeah, got to safety, I hope. I hope so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's sports. go to sports. The NBA games have resumed since the All-Star weekend. Uh, today or no yesterday Thursday and the scores for the games were Celtics beat the Pacers 142 to 138 Magic Orlando uh, beat Detroit Pistons 108 to 106 Denver Nuggets beat Cleveland Cavaliers 115 to 109 the Pelicans beat the Raptors or the Raptors beat the Pelicans 115 to 110 the 76ers beat the Grizzlies 110 to 105 the Mavericks washed away San Antonio Spurs 142 to 116. The Jazz beat the Thunder by one point, 120 to 119. The Sacramento Kings beat the Trailblazers 133 to 116. The Lakers beat the Warriors 124 to 111. LeBron didn't play, or he played, but he didn't get that many points. I don't think. I'm pretty sure he's injured since the. All-Star game. And Luka Doncic and Kyrie Her Irving have been playing pretty good together on the Mavericks, hence how badly they just beat the Spurs. Uh, Kyrie did 23 points in the game, and Luka put up 28 with 10 assists and not, or 8 rebounds. And yeah, that's all there is for sports. That sounds... <laughs> I have no idea what that was. I, yeah. that, that was a I, lot of... Like, yeah. in when you're out, that was yeah. a lot of words that yeah. I didn't understand. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, this is what happened when we all aren't sport people. For the people who like sports, that's yeah. good. Probably good. Okay. Maybe. Or, you know. It's not depends. good or bad. It's just, I mean, depends on what, or depends on what, what team, team you like. What team you like. You like. Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, let's. Should we wrap? No, no we no. got to do the warrior Whoops. update. Yeah. Oh, almost, my segment. You almost forgot Oops, me. my bad. I keep forgetting everybody. <laughs> almost forgot. Okay, so let's move on to Colt with our warrior updates. <laughs> you were focused on the wrong thing. Um, Warriors boys basketball conditioning. It's February 27th, 28th, March 2nd and 3rd from 4.15 to 5.30. Uh, Trouts are March 6th, 7th and 8th after school. And all the student athletes have to attend all the days of conditioning just to like try out. Mm -hmm. And you pick up your release and consent form from Coach Broadway or the gym or the front office. You know? Today's probably your last day to get that release and consent yeah. form. Oh yeah, because, definitely. Because uh, conditioning is Monday. Monday. And Monday is starting mm -hmm. conditioning, so get it while you can. Right. All right. Um, we'll do, oh cool, we have Spirit Week coming up next week. Oh. So Monday is royalty, it says dress to impress. That's February 27th. Uh, Tuesday is African attire. You dress in your favorite African attire or like print. And Wednesday is HBCU day. Dress in your favorite HBCU attire or like college gear. And Thursday is throwba throwback. Dress in your favorite decade, which is like 70s, 80s, 90s. 
you know, just like cool clothing from back in time. And uh, Friday is One Love. Wear red, green, yellow, or red. Oh, red, green, it yellow. Said red, red. It yellow. said red twice. <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. Uh, red, green, yellow, red, or, or red. Yellow, or red, red, green, yellow, or red. Make sure to get that second red. <laughs> All right. Yep. Uh, we also have girls basketball tryouts, which is March 9th and 10th from 4 p.m. until 6 p.m. Uh, you also have to have a releasing consent form in order to try out, and you have to bring, like, the correct athletic shoes and go see Coach... Oh, my gosh. Coach Moye for questions and, like, releasing consent forms to get ready to try out. Hmm. And we also have that community event. Uh, Saturday, February 25th, it's hosted by Commissioner Carrie S. Wiggins Senior District 2, noon, which is like 4 p.m., uh, Dr. Velma H. Williams Westside Community Center on 919 St. Permissin. <laughs> persimmon. 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 It does, it's not spelled like persimmon. Persimmon. Yes, it is. Persimmon. Persimmon. Is it? Persimmon. 919 okay. South Persimmon Avenue. 919 South Persimmon Avenue. That's Bounce the houses, gaming trailers, snow cone truck, and like robotics demonstrations. So there's a, there's a lot of cool stuff. So it's 919 St. Persimmon Street Avenue. Avenue. South South Persimmon? Persimmon. South Persimmon Saint Avenue. Well, tomorrow. Tomorrow. All right. <laughs> tomorrow. Yep. Right. All right. Okay. Uh, attention all students interested in joining the competitive robotics team. Use this QR code to complete your application, and you have to be logged into your SCPS account to access the application. Mm. Put up the QR code. <laughs> oh. Okay. I mean, if it's not up, if it's not up, yeah. Look at the previous. Yeah. Look at the previous warrior. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go. There's the QR There it is. Scan it if you want to join robotics. Okay, is that it? Yeah, that's okay. really all we have. Thank you, Colt, for our Warrior Updates. Students, reminder to keep an eye on your goals and reach out to any teachers if you need any tutoring or help with any of your schoolwork. Be aware of the tardy policy. Make sure you get to class on time and also put away your cell phone when entering class and no earbuds are allowed during transition. Make sure to like and subscribe and stay connected with us on Instagram and Facebook to stay up to date with all SMS news and events. Warriors, remember you are brave, believe in your potential, respect your school and community, always do what is right, visualize your success, and engage and excel in learning. That's it for today. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day, and catch us next time right here on The Brave Club.